chance to go over to uh, London, England a little while ago, and uh, yeah, very nice. I, I, you know, I, I loved it over there. But uh, someone should really fill them, uh, the, uh, the people of uh, London, England, or the people of England, really, on the whole concept of a shower. Because you, know? you go over there, and they mostly have baths everywhere. And I hate taking a bath. To me, taking a bath is like swimming in your own ass. Okay, okay, let me get this straight. Okay, now I sit in the water, and I use the soap and water and get the dirt off me, and then it comes off me, and then I get to sit in it. It's like, it's like I'm in my own filthy dirt soup. This is great. I, I don't know what I was thinking with the water flowing down and like coming off me with the dirt and going down the drain. I don't know. We're, we're crazy in North America. When I was over in uh, England, I got to see a little bit of comedy. But I noticed something about British comedians. With British comedians, whenever a British comic wants to do an impression of a dumb guy, like, oh, look at me, I'm so dumb. That's my impression. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> whenever, whenever a British comic wants to do an impression of uh, someone stupid, all they do is they just lose their British accent. <laughs> Oh, which makes so much sense when you think about it. You know, I, I got to see one guy on stage, he was like, it's like, all right, yeah. You know, the other day, I was uh, having a few drinks in the pub, right? Just with me and my mates, we're having a few drinks in the pub. All I could see there's this bloody Yankee tourist, all, you know, he's all lost and everything, and he's got one of them T-shirts on that say, USA number one. Hey, notice it doesn't say number one at one. Hey, all right? Yeah. And then, so he's about to come up, he's all lost and everything, he's about to come up to me and ask me some stupid question, right? And so he comes up and he's about to open his big stupid mouth and this is what I hear. Uh, excuse me, sir, can you tell me where I could find that? Get out there, you bloody moron! Get out of here! Hey, where are you from, mate? Manchester, all right, Manchester, the football game like that. Yeah, of course that guy's an idiot because he's not talking all funny like you are. <laughs> you stupid, limey prick, what are you... Yeah, of course, in North America, when we want to do an impression of a dumb guy, all we do is just we use the southern accent, which makes much more sense, really. <laughs> yeah, I sort of want to go down south and just see what accent they use when they want to do someone's impression of someone stupid. You know, is it just more southern or... Maybe British. I don't know. They're crazy down in the south. Uh, here's something funny that you can do. A little practical joke that you can play on your friends, your family, whoever you so do choose to. And it's a bonus if your friend has a cat or a cat's litter box. Here's how it goes. Go over to your buddy's place, and you go and you find his cat's litter box, and then you take a crap in it. Okay, now wait, 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 now hear me out. Hear me out. If you want to see the beginning of a very worried pet owner... <laughs> he's going down those stairs, he's like, holy Christ, that's the size of one of mine. What the hell have I been feeding him? How'd he carry it around for so long? What? Hey, Frank, come over here, check this out. How come I didn't hear him yowling trying to push that son of a bitch out? <laughs> now I say that that's a funny practical joke, not like I've tried it. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what wouldn't be funny. What wouldn't be funny would be getting caught setting up that practical joke. <laughs> You know, if you're downstairs in the setting up the practical joke position... <laughs> ...and the odd chance that your friend happens to come downstairs... ...he's like, oh my God, Dave, what are you doing? Man, it was gonna be so funny... <laughs> if, ...if you hadn't, uh... You, You see where the humor would have been? <laughs> if 
just needed a few more minutes, man. <laughs> what was that? Just clean myself up, leave your house, never come back again? Okay, all right. Was it worth it? Who knows? But I gained a laugh and I lost a friend, and that's the way I look at life. I don't know why at the beginning I joke, I say it's a bonus if your friend has a cat or a cat's litter box. Like you'd have a litter box and no cat, that's sort of freaky. <laughs> of but if you do that practical joke and he doesn't have either one of those two things, you're basically taking a crap on the floor. <laughs> there is nothing funny about that. <laughs> well, maybe there is, I don't know. <laughs> 